but I also want you to speak over it. Remind Satan, not today, Satan, not tomorrow, not ever. Have you ever had those days where you're just like, not today, Satan? You know what? Today was that day. Now, it's obviously tomorrow for you, but today is November 7th, and oh, Satan got me real heated today because I don't know how many of you guys are actually subscribed below where you've hit the bell with the parentheses, yada, yada, yada. Well, if you did, you got spam today with all of my upload, re-upload notifications because this morning, for those of you who don't know, YouTube creators have a separate app where they can manage their channel from. So when you guys write me comments or anything like that, usually that's where I respond from. And I was making a playlist, as I do all the time, where you add videos, you delete videos off of the playlist, you rearrange things just like you would in iTunes. And today, a magical glitch happened. Again, thanks a lot, Satan where I was moving videos and instead of deleting the videos from the playlist, it deleted the video from the entire channel, from my cell phone, from a playlist. This glitch is not supposed to happen. And uh, I can try to be as cool as I want, but like, let's get real. I almost had a heart attack today. Like I was like, <gasps> freaking out, tearing my house apart, trying to find my external hard drive. I couldn't find it, like, of all days to not be able to find it. Thank Jesus I backed my stuff up. Now, I haven't gotten to, like, adding all the cards back in where I'm like, oh, click here, or click here. I'll, I'll put something there for you to click. I don't back up my SEO. So, SEO is where you put tags into the field so that YouTube can figure out who should they market this video to, what search terms should your video come up under. And that is a lot of work. That's its own work in itself because, okay, one video, hmm, uh, that's a couple hours of work, but seven videos, that's over two weeks worth of work. So best believe I was hyperventilating, crying, calling my husband like, have you seen my, my external hard drive? But thank God, eight hours later, I got all the videos up and I am sorry if you did get spammed. Such is life. I mean, we live in a fallen world and again, not today, Satan. But there's something that I want to tell you guys because I want you to be encouraged because you can be doing everything right and there are going to be times where things don't make sense. You're going to like run into these issues where it's like, what the heck is going on? Like, what is going on? I didn't do anything wrong. Why am I dealing with this stuff? And it just doesn't make sense. When you have not done anything wrong, this is the big caveat here. When it's not you sitting on your butt, not doing anything. Oh, that's why things aren't happening for you. No, when you are, you're doing all the right stuff and things just aren't working out for you, I want you to know that God is in control. Because when I'm freaking out and I couldn't find my stuff and I'm crying, in my mind, I was reminded of a Bible verse, which kind of helped me calm down. And that's Romans 8.28. And we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love God him. God loves you. Have God cares about you. And we live purpose. in this fallen world. And sometimes we're going to come up against crazy stuff that hinders our witness. It's going to cause us to stumble or fall, or it's just going to waste your time. Today, I was going to work on captioning my videos, get some of that caught up, but I had to spend eight hours doing this kind of stuff and it hurt my views. I lost some subs, obviously, because they're getting spammed like, oh, there's another video upload. Oh, I've already seen that video. But um, yeah, I've lost comments. I've lost watch time, which is the most important factor for YouTube if they want to promote a channel. So if you'd like to help me out, just sit there and watch the video on mute, go take a shower, play one of my playlists, whatever just to help me out if you'd like to, if you like my content. But um, 
yeah, it, it hurts when you lose up votes and things like that. But I want people to remember when you're going through these trying times and it just doesn't make sense, God is in control. God can change everything around for your benefit. I don't know why this happened. I mean, there is a reason, obviously. We live in a fallen world. Satan doesn't like the gospel getting out. But, you know, thank God things were backed up and we can recover from this and it's going to be okay. But I know that you guys go through terrible stuff too. And some of you have confided in me about like the things that are going on in your life. And I want you to know that God is in control through it all. We can walk by faith. We don't walk by sight. We know that bad things are going to happen to us even when we're not sinning. Like, these things will just happen. And if you follow me on social media, you know that we cover Faithful Fridays where we talk about the hardships that different people in the Bible have gone through and they still follow God regardless. And we're going to see this in the story of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We're going to see it in the story of Joseph where he's sold into slavery by his brothers he is falsely accused of rape and he's thrown in prison but because he's gone through all of these bad things he's able to get into a position where he can technically save the entire world from starvation at that time we're going to see it with the story of esther where her family dies and she is basically forced to marry king artaxerxes but because she's in that position she's able to save the jewish people and one of my favorite videos that I made is about Tamar and Judah. Even though Tamar goes through all of this garbage with her terrible father-in-law and her terrible husband, we see that not only is she cared for, but Jesus comes through her line. I'll put that video up there. It's like one of my favorites. And that one also had problems. I had to re-upload that one a while back because my software wasn't working. But just know, you will face trials and tribulations, and it's not always your fault. And I want you to give it over to God, because when we don't know what to pray for, God prays for us. It tells us this in Romans 8, that the Spirit intercedes for us to God the Father when we don't know what to say. And I want you to give it over to God, but I also want you to speak over it. Remind Satan, not today, Satan, not tomorrow, not ever. You can't touch this channel. You can't touch these sermons. You can't touch the gospel message. You cannot prevent the gospel message from getting out. In the name of Jesus, you have no authority. You cannot touch this. You cannot touch these viewers. You cannot prevent the word of God from getting out to them. So you have to leave, and anybody who's trying to cause problems, they have to leave too. Either they can repent or they can leave in the name of Jesus. That's what you need to do. Do it over your life. Do it over your kids. Do it over your stuff. Do it over whatever projects you're working on because Satan will try these things. So I want you to be encouraged in your daily life. If you're going through some really rough times and you don't know why this is going on, trust me, I've been there. It's today I've been super frazzled. I get it. And I was like really scared and crying, like very upset. But remember, God is in control. And I'd love for you to check out some of these playlists because we want to put on the full armor of God. We want to be able to recall these verses in times of trouble so that we can be encouraged and remember, Satan, you're, you're trash. You're done because God is in control and he will change our negative situations for good. We're handing it over to God and he's in control. I would love for you to like, subscribe, and share. And remember, God's got it and he loves you. Bye.